Vaccine Hunters. Sounds like a drama you'll soon see on TV, right? But it's actually part of an online effort to find doses. Tonight, we're talking to some creating social media pages to share any and all information to land a vaccine appointment. News 4's Alexis Zotos is here to explain how it works. Well, right now, around 10% of all Missourians have gotten at least their first dose of the vaccine, but we know there are still hundreds of thousands that are in the eligible tiers that are still waiting for an appointment, and neighbors are helping neighbors in any way they can. Whether you're on your computer or on your phone, you need to be connected to get an appointment for a COVID vaccine. It has been a complete disaster from where I'm sitting. Desperate for the vaccine, St. Louis resident Stacy Lindsay has signed up everywhere. Group 1B tier 2 category because I'm pregnant and at high risk of complications and even death if I get COVID while pregnant. But now she and others are turning to social media, specifically several Facebook groups created to help people find available vaccine appointments. I think it's great. This is a, a wonderful aspect of social media, but it's also absolutely heartbreaking when you see people posting, they're desperate to find the vaccine. I did a search of available appointments on Walmart's website and found no open spots at the two St. Louis area locations offering the vaccine. But widened the search and I found numerous spots at Walmart's in southeastern Missouri, including Malden, Missouri. It's about three hours south of St. Louis with a population of 4,227. They don't have the luxury of taking time off work to go three hours away to some place in rural Missouri to get a vaccine. A Walmart spokesperson says each Walmart pharmacy is allocated a certain amount of doses based on criteria, including the population of the area as well as community need. But they will not tell us how many doses each of the Walmart locations are getting. Now, I will say a pharmacist inside the Shrewsbury Walmart here told me your best bet at getting an appointment is to log on to their website just after midnight. That is when they release new appointments, but she said the numbers are really limited. I fear for St. Louisans that are not connected. Missouri Governor Mike Parson says they did not have a say in which pharmacies were chosen and that a large percentage of the vaccines are going to the St. Louis area hospitals. But still, questions remain on why it's so hard for so many. Per capita density, it just the rollout so far has not made sense. Now we've seen in some of those Facebook groups, there are thousands of people, which really just shows that desperation. But it is important to note that a lot of those links are not meant to be shared. Mercy Hospital System says they have seen links to make appointments that are going out to specific people being shared with others. And the hospital says they're not gonna work if that link wasn't specifically sent to you. So something to keep an eye on. Reporting, Alexis Zotos, News 4. Alexis, thank you.